Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great day and a great week. And it's cold in Florida today, folks. 57, but it's a damp 57. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, folks, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you're alive and says to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrial's up 232, NASDAQ up 94, S&P's up 16 and a half, gold contract up $6.30, traded at 18.28 an ounce. We got silver up 10 cents, $23.18 an ounce. Light sweet crude down two bucks, $89.24 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year down 10 ticks, trading 126.18. The 30 off 22 ticks at 152.26. We have the 10 year. Hitting 1.95. The 10 years on an ABC down, folks, about 124.15. That's going to bang this baby over 2%. Now we'll have some headline news numbers that were over 2%. King dollar. King dollar's uh, up 204 ticks. That's having a hard time holding price once again. You're at 95.603. Euro's at 114. Yen's at 115.50. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So we take a look at this S&P out here. You got a sideways move out here today. You got 54 million, which is not a lot of volume. Uh, we'll see which way this is going to go. Let's, let's just take a look at it intraday and see if we can figure this out. So intraday out here. Okay, so there she is. Intraday. Whoops, let's do it this way. There we go. Okay, so contract volume. No, this is okay. So this is the spy. So that's 1.6 million, 1.3 million, and we are. What is that? Oh nine. Okay, so that's going to be a rejection. Yeah, it's going to be a rejection at lower price. Okay, this is going to be interesting, man. This is going. This is going to be. This is going to have, have a chance to actually run higher into the close. Let me pull up the, the futures for a second. S H. Futures are up 1950. I think we just see, saw this bottom come in. So it looks like it got to a lower low, and it doesn't look like it's going to have the juice behind it. So we, the last bar had 29,000. I was going into 32. Yeah? Yeah, but what this did, watch how this recharged itself, man. Okay, so you came into... We came into 33. First time we came in was 31, then 26, and then 29. And now it wants a higher price. So this is going to be kind of cool. Let's watch it out. Okay, so we take a look at the, that's the S&Ps. We go into the NASDAQ composite. We take a look at the, I mean, the NDX 100 and NDX 100 here. So uh, this, is, this one's clean, man. Yeah, NDX wants higher price, man. Okay, so check it out. We came down. So pitch it. The buy you're going into number one is 15,885. You came into that with 11,000, and then you rejected it with 10. Yeah, we're going higher, man. So it, I, I use 10 minute bars, folks, okay? So this is, you want to look at this one. This is about as clean as you can get, meaning the contraction was just dramatic. And I, I, what I do is I, you just take your crossbars, right? And you, you basically put it in and say, okay, Every 10 minute buy, how are you coming? How many more sellers are there than buyers? And once you know you, you get that contraction, guess what? Then then the other side of it says, okay, I want top side once again, which is exactly what I suspect we're gonna get. Gold, gold contract out here still needs more volume. We get the price going with us. You got we're gonna have a little more volume than yesterday. Yesterday we had 133,000 contracts. We got uh, well, let me check it. We got 134 right now. And we did 140 yesterday, so we'll probably do 150 or something. I'd like to see more. We, we should be banging out about 200,000 uh, uh, contracts. That's, that's the reality. Silver, we take a look at the silver market out here. What we have with silver, silver right now is up 11 cents. 
we are trading 45,000 contracts. That's not bad. Yesterday, I believe it was 56 or something. Let's see what we have there. Yeah, we had a lot more yesterday. 59. So silver does have some juice. Uh, dollar, king dollar. So let's take a look at this because what you have with king dollar, it's losing its king status out here. Well, we had a king dollar got up to 95,750 today. That was over the highs of the last two days, but guess what? It's under the highs of both of them right now. King dollars, I suspect what we have here with king dollars, that's an ABC structure on the way down. And the bond market, the 10 year note, is an ABC structure on the way down. Pretty clean one, too. Um, that broke lower, and it broke. Now, this, it broke lower, it had the volume on the break. Today, there's not a lot of volume. They're, they're not buying it, but there's not a lot of volume. The volume on the break had 2.1 million contracts, taken out 1.9 million contracts. Today, no, you still got 1.3 um, million contracts. So I suspect uh, lower prices are going to continue coming at us in the, the note and bond market, which means higher rates. We get uh, Peloton, that's up $7.5 out here. Advanced Micro is up $3.5. You get Apple up 3 bucks. We have uh, select quote uh, down three dollars. Look at that, man! That got what? What happened here? Look at this. You hear all these ads all the time with select quote. They just got cut in half. Insurance agency company provides legal tech protection. Let's see what happened. They went to a low today of two fifty two. Select quote peers plunge after sales outlook. I can't. Shares plunged sixty one percent of record low after the insurance agency's revenue forecast trailed average analyst estimates. Uh, city size. This is this is really strange, man. Insurance rates have gone up so dramatically, folks. Okay, you know it's amazing. So I'm not quite sure how SelectQuote can lose money um, because it seems like anything and everything that you're insuring these days uh, has gone up like thirty percent, like overnight, man. I mean overnight, no doubt about it. Dow Dow Industrials right now up at 353. You get the Nasdaq up 148. S&Ps are up 32. It's wants to run into the close, folks. Stay right there. We'll come right back. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming back. Beautiful thing.